Mzansi Jupjup has shared a lengthy letter of apology to the mother of his child and award-winning singer Kelly Kumalo. Hey, hey, Mzansi. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News Mzansi. Now, if you're new to my channel, you know you're here for the stories. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update. I'd like to apologize for the distress or hurt I may have caused her following not only the aftermath of my interview on podcast and chill with Meg G, but also any other public opinion, he said. He continued to say that he did not mean for things to get between them. He said the comments that he made during the interview were taken out of context. However, it still doesn't make it right, he added. Namzansi, the singer, also pointed out that he is not apologizing because of the recent reports, also claiming that he always intended to make things right between him and Kelly. In his lengthy letter to Kelly, he also begged for an opportunity to be part of his son's life. There is no way I can take back the missed years in his life. However, given the opportunity by you, I know that I can be a good father to him. You are the mother of my son, and I have a lot of respect for you. In me trying to set the record straight about me being an absent father to my son or me not caring or loving him, a lot of wrongs happened in a short space of time during that interview. Jup Jup said also, adding that this is not how he planned to apologize to Kelly for the first time. In an interview with Meg G a few months ago, Mzanzi, Jup Jup claimed that Kelly uses Omoti on him. Now, this past weekend, a local publication shared that Moja Love boss Aubrey Dao has ordered Jup Jup to apologize to Kelly or get the boot. Mulemo should meet the woman organization and apologize for his hurtful comments, calling Ms. Kumalo a witch ETC last year. I suspended Jup Jup with immediate effect for his wrong and hurtful comments. Now, his ill-advised comments have reached the highest level of decision makers in this industry. He needs to apologize to Ms. Kelly Kumalo and three different organizations for the hurtful comments. He should also undergo sensitivity training, read the memo shared by the publication. Now, Mzansi, in his words exactly, Jup Jup said, I'm writing this letter to accept and own up to my mistakes. I, Molimo Jup Jup Marohane, would like to take this opportunity to apologize to the mother of my son, Kelly Kumala, for any distress or hurt I may have caused her following not only the aftermath of my interview on podcast and chill with Meg G, but also any other public opinion. Kelly, I'm really sorry. I really did not mean for things to get this far between you and I. My comments were taken out of context. However, it still doesn't make it right. Please don't think that I'm, say I'm sending you this apology because of the recent article published this past weekend. I had plans to make things right with you, and I still do that outside of the public domain. I'm hoping and most importantly praying that you and I will one day reach an amicable solution to co-parent our champ as all I beg for is an opportunity to be part of his life. There's no way I can take back the missed years in his life. However, given the opportunity by you, I know I can be a good father to him. This is certainly not how I wanted to first apologize to you. However, because I made the comments on a public broadcast, it's only right I also apologize publicly. I'm not in any way defending my actions. You are the mother of my son and I have a lot of respect for you. In me trying to set the record straight about me being an absent father to my son or me not caring or loving him, a lot of wrong happened in a short space of time during that interview. I own up to it as a man but most importantly a human being. I ask that the media and public please respect my privacy as I attempt to make things right with Kelly Kumalo outside of the public space. I know that I'm a public figure, however, I am a father first and most importantly a human being. I apologize to the woman in South Africa at large too for any distress, disappointment or hurt I may have caused and I hope that one day you find it in your heart to forgive me. I will be undergoing sensitivity classes for my use of language and I am working on myself as an individual. I humbly ask for my privacy as I continue to work on myself. God bless. Mulema Jubjub Maruhanya. The end. Namzansi, there you have it. Well, kudos to Jubjub for manning up and actually doing this. Not many would have done so. Do leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I love to hear from you.